Hey guys, Patrick Walters here. You know the biggest misconception on the Tokyo rig is where people throw it. I'm about to show you a completely different way to fish the Tokyo rig. We're on Norman, we're down here on the Southern Reservoir, and we're fishing deep water with it. We're fishing a point in 20 feet of water. It's rocky, it's spotted bass. Well, I'm just throwing it on 14 pound floor carbon, and I'm fishing it just like a wobblehead almost. It's basically, you can put any soft plastic you want. I love a swim bait. It's like fishing a crankbait, but even better. I mean, it's one hook, it really stabs them. And the best thing about it with the welded ring and then the drop down wire and the swivel, the fall rate of it. When you give it slack, it completely falls straight down. So it maintains bottom contact better than any bait I found when I'm out there throwing and I'm reeling it, whether I'm in 30 foot of water, 20 foot of water, or 15 foot of water. Simply all you gotta do is just put a, a little bit bigger weight on there than you may be flipping it with shallow. Like this is a three quarter ounce, I'll go up to an ounce, sometimes an ounce and a quarter, really depending on what pound line I'm throwing and how deep I'm fishing it. But from 30 to five, the Tokyo rig catches them. That's what makes it so effective is the, the drop down wire here, you can actually change the weight to any size you want to at any point in the day. Whether I'm fishing say shallow points all day, I can have a little half ounce weight. That way you're not grinding too hard until I go, I'll move out to say 30 feet of water and I could put a three quarter ounce or an ounce weight. And the greatest thing about say going to a little bit bigger weight, when the fish grabs it, the weight's actually not gonna be his mouth, so it only grabs the hook, so the size of the weight does not really matter. It doesn't affect the bait as much. And so what happens is if you just give it slack, it has a complete vertical fall. Instead of cer certain techniques, whether if it would've been, say, a Texas rig, it would just kind of have a horizontal, just fall back. But if when you give the, the Tokyo rig complete slack, when you're reeling it on the bottom, say, in 30 feet of water, it's just got that complete vertical drop that maintains bottom contact quicker. Traveling across the country, no matter where we go, being a professional fisherman means we just have to find fish faster on different lakes. And that's what makes the Tokyo rig so much better for me is it's such a versatile bait. You can fish and you can find fish so much faster with just one technique, one bait that everybody's familiar with, whether say it's a Texas rig or a jig, it's basically combining everything into one where you can fish faster, cover water, and change your profile.